Good afternoon, everyone. It is Wednesday, April 1st, and that means it's time for our weekly look at the Pioneer and Modern preliminary results over the last week. There was a lot going on on Magic Online this week with the uh, Magic Fest Online happening. So there's a lot, uh, probably about a 30 to 40 percent drop in participation in the preliminaries this week. But the data, I think, still tells some good stories here. So let's dive in. All right. Week over week, as you can see here, we dropped about 40% in our uh, 30 to 40, depending on the format, in the number of decks that were reported. Uh, Pioneer had 22 decks appear over the last week compared to 25 in prior weeks. Seven of them were new, and again, all of the churn in the Pioneer metagame is always happening at the bottom. Uh, the new decks are not cracking up in the top tiers in their first appearance. They might crawl up there later, but they're not starting there. In Modern, uh, we had 46 decks appear this week, same as a couple weeks ago. A little less than last week, but then participation was down. 17 of them were new. And over the three weeks, there's been 78 decks that have appeared in the preliminary results. And 22 of them have appeared every week. It's a relatively consistent chunk. All right, Pioneer. Again, Demir Inverter, right at the top. Uh, it fended off Mono White, which had reached up to tie it in the number of results last week. But it's still those are still the two best decks in the format, and by a relatively significant margin. Sultai Delirium did move up into third this week. It had a pretty good week of results. So it's kind of trying to establish itself as the next uh, contender for the top here. But I think you'd be kind of fooling yourselves if you thought anything other than Demir and Mono White were the the top two decks of the format. Is it and Soul had a great week, moved up quite a bit in the uh, in the results here uh, with Mono Green Walkers, Bant Spirits, and Mono Red all kind of tailing right behind, and that's kind of your next level of deck here. In the, uh, the followers here, the four ofs and the three ofs, we've got some pretty steady contenders. Lotus Breach, Five Color Niv, Blue Eye Control, Mono Black, Golgari Stompy, and Gruel Aggro. All rounding out here. Uh, Gruel Aggro and Blue Eye Control had pretty good weeks. Moved up quite a bit. The two ofs, uh, White, Devotion, Splashing Blue, uh, did, win, did post a 5-0 in one of the preliminary results. That's why the asterisk here. Simic Ramp was in there. I think uh, Goldfish reports that deck as Mono Green Ramp. It's really splashing blue, so it's a Simic deck. Uh, Selesnya Heliod was a new deck that showed up with a two of. It's a uh, green-white approach to the Heliod combo deck, which is a little interesting. And then the new one of this week, uh, the Kethis combo deck made it. A Jund deck has been kind of making the rounds. I've been seeing it quite a bit in the leagues, and it posted a result here. There was a five-color humans deck, which was kind of interesting. A little more on the aggro side versus the disruptive side as in, in um, modern. Merfolk made it. There was a white weenie deck. And the Hardened Scales deck returned for a, uh, an appearance here in the lists. And decks that we saw last week that didn't show up this week were Azor Blue White Spirits. We saw Bant, but not Blue White. The Orzov Auras deck did not appear this week. Boros Burn, Demir Control, the Grixis Midrange deck. Uh, Feather didn't show up, or nor did Is It Phoenix. And then some of the spicier brews from last week didn't make it back either. So we'll see if they can make a comeback. So that's kind of modern, or pioneer right now. Uh, definitely the top of the metagame is pretty well established. These decks are very consistent and putting up good results, and Demir Inverters continues to dominate the format. Modern is very wide open right now. Jund was the number one deck this week, 
it has been making a slow climb up as people are adopting and getting used to the Croxa builds. I believe one of these results here was a Delirium focused deck with Traverse and Grim Flayer in the build, but most of these are the Croxa. Uh, the traditional Jun build with Croxa as the addition here. Eldrazi Tron still hanging around right up there at the top here with the, in second along with the Bant Snow Control. You will notice here that Bant Snow Blade is not in the top listings. Bant Snow Control has definitely taken over as the more effective looking, at least in current meta, the more effective of the two builds of the Bant Snow deck. So Bant Snow Blade's down on page two here where Bant Snow Control has uh, kind of become the control deck of the format. Uh, a a uh, trend that's been interesting to watch develop over the last couple weeks. The Rosa deck following up here in fourth. It, it's hard to say in modern right now that there's even tiers, right? If you look at these results numbers, and you'll see as we go on to the next page, the totals here just are a gradual decline. There's really not stair-stepping like we see in Pioneer. And any of these decks could really jump up at any point and make a play for number one. Just depends on who's bringing decks and who's playing well. Uh, Dredge and the Gruel Monsters deck. The not quite Ponza, but Gruel Ag but bigger than Gruel Aggro. Uh, those decks moved up very well this week. Humans resurging a little bit. Tron dropped off quite a bit. Uh, it was tight. I think it was the number one deck last week. And it dropped off here all the way down to 8th. But, uh, you know, it's still around. It's, and it's not like it's a big drop-off between 8th and 2nd. So, after this we've got Mono Red Blitz and Amulet Titan. And Burn right behind at 6 results each. Not the greatest of weeks for Titan decks. Uh, Titan Shift did post some results here, as you see right next, uh, next in line. And then we've got the Bant Snowblade list and the Five Color Niv list right up behind. So it's, you know, again, these are all very close on the numbers. Any of these could shift at any time. Naya Zoo has been showing a little bit of a resurgence lately. The uh, agro, the, the small zoo, I guess, as it used to be called, little zoo, uh, with bushwhackers and wild nacodle. And things like that. That's been posting some results lately. It's good to see. And Neil Brand uh, was on the right side of variance this week. Right down there before we get to the the others. And I, I, I put tier two up here in the top in quotes because as you can see, you know, we go from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. It, they're all really close together. Any of these decks are good choices right now. It's just what fits your play style and, and it's partly matchup dependent. All right, the rest. Grixis Shadow back uh, appearing again. It had dropped off the list last week. We did not see a result at all from Grixis Shadow, and it's good to see it back. Titan Field here, down to third. This is the Titan build. It's generally blue-green. It doesn't have Scape Shift, and it doesn't have Amulet of Vigor. So it's just doing Titan things. And then we've got Infect and Storm, old standbys. Mardu Shadow, down here, the uh, uh, one of the four shadow builds that we see in Demir Wurza. And then one of that repeated from last week are Ad Nauseam, the Artifact Breach uh, Grinding Station deck, four color snow control, Bogles, Elementals, Jun Shadow, the, uh, the fourth of the shadow decks, Mono Red Prowess, Devoted Company and Snow Healy. Uh, one of those that came back that didn't appear last week but had the week before Crab Vine, Black Red on Earth, and Bant Snowblade. And actually, this isn't Bant Snowblade. This is Bant. Uh, Stoneblade. This is the not sorry for the delay there for the non-snow version. 
and new one ofs that we have not seen to this point bant eldrazi yes the drowner of hope deck made a uh, comeback this week the dice factory deck that uh was popular before the Mo mox opal ban that popped up again there was a boros aggro stoneforge mystic deck that was kind of interesting jeskai wurza which i've seen popping up in the leagues a little bit it's the first time it's it's appeared in the preliminary results there was a heliod deck that was obzon and it was not collected company it was uh, it was a devoted druid deck, but there was no collected company in it. It was, if I recall, it was Finale of Devastations and Ella Domri's Calls. It might have been Court of Calling instead of Finale, but it was an Obzon deck with with Heliod combos and related combos in it that didn't use Coco, and I thought that was interesting. There was a Mardu Burn list. It splashed black for Lightning Skeletal, which I thought was fun. Teamer Breach. Uh, so this is, instead of is it uh, through the breach, this was a teamer build. A Boros Ponza deck that was completely loaded up on land hate. I think there were 20 land destruction spells in the list. It was just crazy. Um, that one, actually, I would... I, excuse me, I'd be interested in playing that. <coughs> Sultai Eurosa. Uh, so it's the... Eurosa is typically a teamer deck. This one, instead of splashing green, splashed... Or, I'm sorry, instead of splashing red from the blue-green, splashed black. So that was an interesting twist. We had a Slivers list. Good old Reliable Soul Sisters made an appearance. First time I've seen that in a while. And there was a Mardu Pyromancer deck that featured Stoneforge Mystic, which seemed like an interesting tweak. Uh, so that was what appeared this week things that disappeared that might be notable there were no four color shadow lists this week mono blue tron was gone bent soul herder was gone living in blue moon bring to light scape shift none of those appeared this week and then some of the spicier one ofs that we've seen in the past um the ten rack or the hollow one deck teamer free spells the five color walkers deck it's been appearing in the leagues but i haven't seen it you know, it didn't show up this week in the preliminaries. But that's that's modern right now. It is it's a wide open format. Anything almost can do well. I mean we've seen seventy eight decks in three weeks show up and yeah, you know, it that's surprising to me. It's just there's so much out there. So that's about it, guys. Thanks a bunch for sticking with me here. And if you like what I'm doing, do please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when my latest videos go up. And we'll be back tomorrow looking at, I believe, Pioneer. And that's it. Have a good day. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.